let's talk about all of this with retired FBI Special Agent John Yonarelli and former Deputy Assistant Attorney General John Yu. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Hi, Shannon. Okay, so um, interestingly enough to know today, we know the president had a phone call with Russia's President Putin. He says um, they did not talk, they did talk about the Mueller report, but they didn't talk about potential, um, you know, getting involved with our elections and trying to scramble things up again in 2020. Well, FBI Director James Comey, former, is talking about this today. Here's what he said. And they not only did it, they exceeded their wildest expectations because look at where we are as a country now, how we're at each other's throats. So they will be back again. They will work to reelect Donald Trump. Uh, John Yannarelli, how, what do you make of this, the fact that um, President Trump, at least publicly, continues to say he's not talking with the Russian president about what happens next? I find it interesting that former director Comey is going on and talking about what the president should and shouldn't be doing. Here's a guy that was fired from being director of the FBI, and yet he thinks it knows what it takes to be president. There's a methodology, I imagine, when you're working with world leaders of things you say and don't say at certain times. A former director who was disgraced and removed from the job is not the person who should be counseling us on what the president should be doing. In the meantime, we know the president's also talking, as he did with our own Catherine Harris last night, about this investigating the investigators, looking back to the origins of what sparked this whole thing. The attorney general has said the same. Uh, and a lot of folks are debating about whether or not the FBI actually uh, briefed the president about this during the campaign. From the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence, the report they put out on the Russian active measures back in March of last year, this is what they said. The committee found that the Trump campaign was not notified that members of the campaign were potential counterintelligence concerns. Concerns. This lack of notification meant that the campaign was unable to address the problems with each campaign member and was ignorant about the potential national security concerns. John Yu, what do you make of that? It's very strange that the FBI would not have conducted what's called, quote unquote, a defensive briefing when they would notify the campaign that they would uh, undertake some counterintelligence. It's also weird because you have three former U.S. attorneys who are working in the Trump campaign. You have Rudy Giuliani, Jeff Sessions, and Chris Christie, all very prominent prosecutors who have worked on counterespionage, counterintelligence. The FBI knows those people. They could have gone to them. It's, it shows how unusual and how strange the beginning of the whole investigation was. And I, as we've said before, either shows that the FBI was duped and Jim Comey was duped by the Russians into taking this bad evidence and starting an investigation, or I hope not, but something more malevolent or malicious where there are people within our intelligence agencies who wanted to try to use this information because they were opposed to Donald Trump becoming president. Uh, as we know, the DOJ Inspector General would soon issue a report talking about some of the origins, the use of the FISA warrants and applications, all those kinds of things. Um, I want to get you both quickly to re uh, respond to the news tonight that Senator Kamala Harris has asked the DOJ Inspector General also to look into whether the president may have instructed the attorney general to go after his enemies. John Yannarelli and then John Yu. I think when the report comes out from Horowitz, you're going to see some very definitive violations of the way FISA is normally conducted. It seems here that it got much less scrutiny than lesser cases get, and this is the highest office in the land. I think it's going to be damning to some of the le former leaders of the FBI. John, you? I think constitutionally, and that's the important thing here, constitutionally, the president is the one charged to take care that the laws are faithfully executed. He is, for our system, the top federal prosecutor. It would not be inappropriate constitutionally for President Trump to say things to the Attorney General, Attorney General Barr or Sessions or Rod Rosenstein about how investigations are, doing, are going. However, the Justice Department wants to be independent. It doesn't want to be shown to have been uh, operate under political influence. But I don't expect there to I, I would be very surprised if Sessions or Barr launched any prosecution or any investigation because Trump might have gone mm -hmm. off on Twitter or called on the phone. I would be very surprised if that happened. Well, the DOJ, IG, staying very busy. Uh, John Yannarelli, John, you, thank you both for waiting. Great to have thank you. you.